Now, Morning Joe hosts Joe Scarborough and uh, Mika Brzezinski closed out their uh, morning show with this disastrous analysis of the Trump administration. Let's take a look. Well, I, I mean, I think you said it best when you said we're all scared. Uh, obviously, um, this is I think we reached a new low this weekend. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I had hope uh, and an open mind and I have lost hope completely and my mind is closed. This presidency is fake and failed. Fake, fake news, fake presidency, fail. <laughs> Disaster, <laughs> sad baby. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? She's right. Now, you might be wondering what the context is to this. Uh, this is in reference to something that Donald Trump tweeted out this weekend. Basically, Obama wiretapped me. Sad. Pathetic. Right. Wait, yeah. wait. Where's your evidence in that? Oh, it comes from Mark Levin. Now, interesting side note. Uh, there's somebody out there on YouTube who has taken uh, shows of Mark Levin and dubbed them into uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force's Master Shake. Oh, wow. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so that is awesome. I love it. <laughs> it took them this long to realize that that's a Trump presidency. I mean, I've, we've been saying that on this show for Forever? a long time now. Ma maybe, he's not, maybe Morning he's not Joe a needs president. to listen He is the embodiment of everything that's wrong, not just with our system, but with, like, human behavior. Like, I mean, I, I was talking about this with my roommate earlier today, like, like in the morning. We were both having coffee, and I, I was just like, yeah, it's like, this is what happens when you're spoiled as a child. This is what happens when you get a huge inheritance and did nothing for it. This is what happens when you treat women like shit. This is what happens when you're a racist. This is what happens when elections are bought and sold. This is what happens when we have money in politics. This is what happens when you're a megalomaniac. This is what happens when you're a sociopath and remain untreated. This is what happens when you do too much cocaine. Like, <laughs> he's all of that embodied. He's not a president. And I've been saying that. I mean, he's not a president. You can't say, oh, well, Ron, he's in the White House. He's doing that. Well, you know what? I can carry around four tires. That does not make me a car. He is not a president. He is a media <laughs> sensation gone awry. And it, it took him making up maybe the most bogus or at least among the most bogus things he's thrown out there yet. Well, he's trying to detra distract us from what's really going on. Well, while he's making all these bogus claims on Twitter and while the corporate media keeps trying to do their best impression of McCarthy, they're putting forward <laughs> bills that right. are going to end unions completely, that are going to gut the working class, yeah. that's going to get rid of the EPA, that's going to end education as we know we'll, it. We'll get into that too. That's all out there, folks. Yeah. That's all out there. Well, all the media is talking about is Russia, 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 mm -hmm. and all Donald Trump's doing is tweeting straight up nonsense. Yeah, and, and actually those uh, some of the legislation that you brought up, Ron, we're going to talk about that uh, in a coming segment. So we'll, we'll, get, we'll get into the details of what they're actually trying to do and how you're right, this is an absolute head fake. But now uh, That's again, all he's good at. That's all he knows. Right. That's his one trick. But, do, but, but remember, though. You know, I'm like a smart person. <laughs> I had to. But no, uh, my point here is, I mean, you bring up an interesting uh, point saying, you, we've been saying this all along, where was Mika and Joe? Oh, where were they? Well, you remember during the primary uh, when Joe was giving him all the free media that he could, uh, that he could handle? What was it $2 billion <laughs> worth of free media? The ability to call into Morning Joe at any time? Now, remember, Morning Joe is who the establishment watches. Like, all the people in Washington... Ooh, morning Joe, morning Joe. We love morning Joe. Let's let's go get our morning Joe, okay? Let's go let's go watch this show. Everybody tunes in. Uh, like everybody in the Washington bubble tunes in. So when, you know, Joe gives this guy Trump a platform, which he absolutely did during the primary. You can go back and you can see some of the videos where they were having Trump on. They're all happy and the town halls and everything that Joe and Mika would host and they would do the backroom banter and all that stuff. And it was so cordial and so wonderful and so happy. Yeah. Well, you can blame them partly for what for, for why Donald Trump is, is president today. That free media, that those softballs that were served up during the whole primary. And of course, uh, the whole point uh, uh, that the media was trying to do, the whole purpose of it was to try to elevate Donald Trump so that Hillary Clinton could try to knock him down. And she failed absolutely because she was a terrible candidate. 
you know it's funny um i remember that you remember that ron i'm pretty sure you at home remember that but see i don't think joe seems to well you know why because joe is a republican hack I mean, again, he gave more exposure to a guy who sounds like he's paranoid and mentally deranged, so all he could do is get a tax cut. Remember? Oh, a tax cut and some ratings, by the way. Ratings were awesome for Morning Joe, uh, despite the fact that Trump, Donald Trump now tweets out, failing Morning Joe, failing New York Times, everything's failing. Really? Uh, they seem to be doing pretty well. I mean, I read another article uh, where uh, subscriptions to the New York Times have gone through the roof. Yeah, well, MSNBC has seen a big up in their ratings, yeah. and I believe CNN has as well. Um, and Fox News is still uh, doing, you know, doing their thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, cable news is kind of on the rise. And mm -hmm. I mean, I, I feel like I feel like MSNBC in general is, is just becoming more and more for the establishment. I mean, I, I've been disappointed in the entire network. And we talk about it a lot, both on this show and, and I talk about a lot of, uh, we talk about a lot on the Jimmy Dore show, uh, where, you know, I, I feel like, and I've said this a number of times, if ever I thought there was gonna be one person in the corporate media that was gonna say, you know what, we screwed up here, and now we really need to focus on uh, fighting this administration, mm -hmm. A, and getting a better platform out there to give people something to believe in come 2018. I thought if one person was going to come through for, for that, it was going to be Rachel Maddow. Um, she did not, though. And she didn't. She didn't. I thought so. I, I was wrong. Uh, you know, instead, she just is, um, she's just parroting the establishment. And, and again, this whole, this whole Russia, Russia, Russia thing, it's becoming, um, it's becoming beyond counterproductive. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a thing that, um, I mean, Democrats that had railed against this stuff when Republicans were doing it are now using the same types of ta uh, tactics. Yeah. And that's absolutely. I mean, that's that's not only that's dangerous. Right. Because, again, look, even if Russia, you know, so-called interfered in our election, which is not a great thing. Remember all the elections that we've interfered on? I don't want to go to war with Russia. You don't want to go to war with Russia. Nobody wants to go to war with Russia except for the neoliberals and the neoconservatives who love this stuff. Like, here, here's, here's a good example. We now have, uh, you know, we now have liberals, Democrats, fawning over Lindsey Graham and, and John McCain for saying this stuff. Lindsey Graham and John, John McCain, which all they want to do is push the same old uh, neoconservative, pro-war, hawkish points on media. And, you know, oh, we should invade them. We should invade these guys. We should invade these guys. How about we invade nobody? Because that turns out really, really bad for us when we do invade people. Yeah. Well, and then you have, like, just the whole Donald Trump. And, and I know you already talked about this, so I don't, yeah. don't want to go off on this too much. But, sure. you know, the guy uh, said we need to start winning wars again. He, he said, like, 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 he says all these atrocious, horrific things. Uh, about, you know, and, and then, I, I mean, just what he said about John McCain alone should have sunk him. Yeah. Uh, and then people are patting him on the back because he successfully read from a teleprompter. Oh, oh, like And Van exploited Jones. a widow. Well, I mean, that's all that was. He exploited a widow. That's yeah. what he did. He exploited a widow. And he's presidential now. And then, of no. course, he buries himself again by making this bogus claim about Obama. But, yeah, I mean, MSNBC, how did it take you this long to know what all of us have known since the Republican primary. And since this even beforehand. This is the Frankenstein. No, and, and again, this, this is also, I mean, talking about how, oh, this is the day he, he was presidential, right? No, no. He, he read from, he didn't shit on the floor, okay? This is, like, this is like you giving a treat to a dog that doesn't shit on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. You, didn't, you didn't poop all over the place. Great. I mean, come on. What, what kind of credit is that? We're going to give credit to a guy for acting presidential. Uh, apparently now the definition of being presidential is being able to read off a teleprompter. Wait, isn't that yeah. something that they always try to make fun of Obama for? Hmm, teleprom teleprompter president? That's, that's a good point. That's a Sarah very Palin. good point. Sarah Palin. I mean, she was, like, she was like reading off her hand. <laughs> you know, hastily, hastily scrawled notes off her hand and suddenly you're like you know oh, obama 
teleprompter president. Well, when yeah, Donald that's, Trump reads, doesn't read from I a teleprompter, about that. yeah, yeah. Well, when Donald Trump doesn't read off a teleprompter, he sounds like a he sounds like a six year old, and that's in look that's even insulting to six year olds. Right, because they 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 didn't have as much yeah. time to learn all the best words. He knows They're all the best learning. words. You know why? You know, I'm like a smart person. Exactly. No, but this this whole thing, I mean, look, this this is this really is on corporate media establishment. Okay? Now they're waking up to it. How didn't they know? I mean, look, this is blowing up in the media's face. And here's the thing, right? Now, with all the shit that's going on with Donald Trump and the Republicans, right? They're only saving grace in 2018 and 2020, I think is if the Democrats continue to be the party of the establishment, the party of stupid. Because mm -hmm. right now, being part of the establishment is politically stupid. And taking that donor money and defending the establishment as they've been doing. And the establishment press, right? The corporate media establishment that helped elevate Trump so we could get all this exposure to the, and, and win all these people over and with his ridiculous childlike ideas. I mean, mm -hmm. again, this is this is a big fault of the media establishment. Now, I can guarantee you that if Bernie Sanders had half amount of half of the amount of the coverage that Donald Trump had during the primary, there could be a possibility that we could be saying President Sanders. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.